Hi guys, it's Katie with Katie Reads and in this video I'm going to be doing two book unboxings and giving a shout out to Sour Punch Shop who I recently partnered with through IG where we connected and I'm going to be kind of talking about their merch a little bit just a one-time shout out so don't worry I'm not going to be talking about them all the time every single video for those of you that aren't really into that whole collaboration partnership thing um, but their items are really cool and I just wanted to share that with you guys as well at the end of this unboxing video so the first item that I'm going to be unboxing is from Jody, who is the Thrifty Pigeon. I met her through Toledo Antique. They were doing a live auction and she was auctioning off some books. And you know, I, I like to support. And when I see some good vintage books that I might be able to resell, I can't say no to that. So I paid $10 for the books and then gave her $4 for the shipping. And I'm going to go ahead and just open it up and do live comps right here with you guys and figure out if this is anything worth reselling. Shout out to Jody for the thank you card. Very much appreciated. Okay, now I remember what I purchased because I'm not going to lie. Uh, I purchased this, kind of forgot about it, and then remembered that I gave her my P.O. box and I don't check that all the time well as often as I really should so it's just been a little while since I made the purchase but I purchased Wizard of Oz books I'm really excited about them they have dust jacket protectors which is this plastic that you see over the book which is typical for X library and on the inside you can see that they're X library the outsides are actually in really, really great condition, and I don't see a lot of foxing on these. So they match they match really well to how she described them during the auction. And then the cool little checkout card. I actually keep these in my X library. I don't take these out. The reason I don't take them out is some people kind of like having them for whatever reason. And some people even seek out X library books, which I recently found out. So yeah, I, I wouldn't take them out if you have X library books. And then this other Wizard of Oz book. Try not to try not to have glare. And again, this one has like a clear dust jacket to protect the outside hardcover area. This book is in like pristine condition. It's like new. And the illustrations are beautiful. There is zero foxing, no writing inside, no missing pages. These are all things. I'm, I'm saying that, I'm spelling that out for you guys because that's how I would list this if I were to flip these books. So let's look them up on eBay really quick and see if they're selling for anything. Okay, so since I know some of you are going to ask how I'm looking these up, I'm looking up the ISBN number on the back of the book. I'm just typing that into the search bar in eBay and it will show me the, sh the sold comps for books that included the ISBN number. It's important to include the ISBN number on a book if you can or if you're doing sell similar, choose a listing that has the ISBN number in there because sometimes that is how people look up a book. They won't look it up by title and author. Sometimes they'll look it up by ISBN number, so that's an important thing to include in your listing. So it looks like the sold on these are kind of low, $4 plus media mail shipping. So I could list this for maybe six or seven free media mail shipping and see if it moves and maybe get some of my total spent of $14 back. Now the next one I'm going to be looking up is this Wizard of Oz X library book. And just for some context of how I'm going to be looking it up, so on the inside index page you can see it's 1956 and that's how I'm going to look it up and I'm also going to use identifiers like the copyright page obviously and the front cover to indicate that it's my copy and what my copy specifically is selling for. Okay, so The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Baum. A best offer was taken on a listing that was listed at $12.99. So there is another sold listing of like a combo set 
of vintage children's Wizard of Oz books. That sold for $15.99 plus $5.99 shipping. So it may be advantageous for me to lot both of these together and just list them that way. And essentially I would just be breaking even because I obviously spent $14 on this. But kind of good to know. So, and then I do see some listed uh, for this book, not X Library, but other ones are listed for $30 to $40. One's at $45. Because mine's worn and it's X Library, I'm probably going to go the route of lotting both of these together for $20 free media mail shipping and see if I get any bites. I'll probably take a best offer anywhere from, the lowest best offer I'd probably take is $15 just so I can kind of get my money back. Even after fees and shipping, it's close to the cost that I spent. And it was a way for me to support another reseller. It was really just about supporting Toledo Antique and supporting the Thrifty Pigeon and, you know, their auction. So thank you to Jody so much for these books. Okay, next is a box from FBA Dave. I have known Dave for over two years. Him and I met through Romer the Romer and our book flipping community. Congrats to Dave. In a year, he has grown so much. In the past two years, he has grown leaps and bounds. He has a warehouse. He has employees. He's cranking out Gaylords and pickups. I mean, he's making his living through books, and that's really, really awesome. I definitely look up to Dave, and I appreciate all the back and forth value that we give each other and just kind of, you know, the internet friendship that we have. It's it's really cool having someone who understands the game and who actually has an appreciation for books. His wife is a writer and his wife appreciates books too, so we kind of connect on that level as well. Because of the recent Amazon restrictions and all the crazy stuff going on with that for bulk booksellers, um, Dave has pivoted his model to Merchant Fulfilled. And uh, for the past year, him and I have been discussing eBay and how he monetizes books that maybe won't do well for Amazon, but he can flip on eBay for some decent money, specifically vintage antiquarian, signed books, first editions, just very unique, rare books that he magically comes across in his Gaylords. So recently, Dave has offered to me a box of books for $40, and that includes media mail shipping. And these are books that I can flip and uh, essentially make my money back on. He just has so much volume that it's not really, it doesn't really make sense for him to flip books that are more like a bread and butter for me, being a little bit smaller operation and being a solopreneur myself. So if you're interested in getting a book box from Dave, make sure to reach out to him on Instagram. He's FBA underscore Dave. It's first come first serve and it's just kind of whatever he has. Limited quantities, it's Gaylords, it's just gonna be kind of random and whatever he has available but is at a, he's very transparent and it's at a certain price point to where you, you know, he'll make sure that you can make your money back plus profit. So thank you so much, Dave, for the opportunity to purchase from you and to do an unboxing. And if you do reach out to Dave, please let me know in the comments or let him know that Katie Reed sent you. I really want to encourage what he's looking at doing with his business in the future. And this is an avenue that he is exploring is doing some type of, you know, wholesale lots to booksellers like myself. 17 pounds of books right here. It's so beautiful. Wow. This is cool. I'm excited. Okay, so first book, The Story of the Irish Race, which this is interesting to me because I am Irish and Mexican and British, so... So this is kind of cool. All right, anyways, I'm getting distracted. I knew I would get distracted with these books. Let's look up comps. All right, so mine is a 1969 version, 1969 printing. And it looks like comps, they're decent. They're anywhere from seven to $15. I have the dust jacket plus a dust jacket protector. 
There's no missing pages or writing inside. Really no foxing either. So I think I'll probably list this one at 15 free media mail shipping and see what happens. So after shipping, um, conservative profit of $10. We're already working towards getting our money back with the first book and that's a decent start for the first book. So next, ooh, this one has a little sticky note that says signed. I like that. So this one is The Big Picture. Ben Carson with Greg Lewis. I'll show the cover for you guys as well. That's what the cover looks like. You can see the signing on the inside. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is type in the ISBN and then see sold comps, and then probably, well, I will take into consideration the fact that it's signed. So we'll see if there's any sold comps of a signed copy. So we have a sold comp from July 15th of a signed Ben Carson, the big picture, HB, which means hardback or HC hardcover. This sold comp it was listed for $25 and a best offer was taken. So that's where I will list mine at, $25 free media mail shipping. I feel like $25 is even still kind of low for being a signed copy, but maybe the title isn't heavily sought after. I know Ben Carson's produced a lot of different books, so maybe the title isn't heavily sought after. So if I'm able to sell it at 25 free media mail shipping, conservatively I'll have, you know, $20 into that. So then with the two bucks, we're already at 30. I paid 40 for all of these. So not bad. <laughs> Next is Weight Watchers Cookbook. This is old school Weight Watchers. <laughs> That's funny. So a little bit outside page staining, but nothing too terrible. Dust jacket is worn, has some staining and some tears. That's expected. This looks like it's from the 60s or 70s. Yep, I was right, 1966. So I'll go ahead and look this up. This appears to be a first edition. Doesn't indicate anything saying that it isn't. So I will go ahead and type this in and we'll look up comps. We have an auction where one went for $15.77 plus media mail shipping. We have another one at $18.99 with free media mail shipping. Because of the wear on my dust jacket, I'm probably going to list this at $10 or $12 with free media mail shipping. Conservatively, I can make $8 to $9 profit. So with three books, we're at $38. I'm almost, almost made my money back on three books. Next is with Lawrence in Arabia. I have no idea what this book is. I've never seen it before in my life, but it looks really cool. It has the deckled pages, the untrimmed pages, and it has a dust jacket, so that's dope. It's from 1924, very interesting. Hinges are a little worn, some minor scuffs of writing on the inside, some foxing, expected wear and tear on the dust jacket. Let's look up comps. Oh, this one's pretty. So this one is ranging from $9 to $30. So I'm definitely gonna list mine at $30 free media mail shipping and see what happens. This is a good one. So now I'm at $68. Okay, next is Urshirak. Me no speaky. <laughs> Urshirak. A land peopled by elves and Amazons, wizards and gwarpies, witches and monsters. Urshirak, a land of extremes, of beauty and ugliness, violence and peace, where an epic struggle between the forces of good and evil will be fought. A struggle that will decide the fate of the world. So definitely sci-fi. Fantasy. It's pretty cool. I mean, the cover's pretty dope. Some badass women. I'm down for that. So this one does have some damage, some water damage, and it does have some foxing. I only indicate that not to take a shot at Dave or anything, but it just affects the value. Copyright, first U.S. edition, September 1979. So this is the first U.S. edition, so that's what's up. I'm going to type in the ISBN number and we will see what the comps are. The sold comp that I see is $14.99 plus media mail shipping. I'm hesitant to price it at that just because the condition mine is in. I would list mine as acceptable so the $14.99 sold comp 
is listed as good condition. So maybe I will list mine at 10 bucks plus shipping and see what happens. 10 to 12, I'll do 10 to 12, we'll see. 10 to 12 plus shipping, no free media mail shipping on this one. We'll, we'll see what happens. Bury my heart at wounded knee, this is a good one. Deckled pages, untrimmed pages, hardcover, dust jacket, a little writing inside, but very minor. Nineteen seventy. This is a second printing. It could still be a first edition, but it's a second printing. I'll go ahead and look this up. So mine is a first edition, second printing. I found a first edition, second printing, that sold for twenty four dollars. I have the same copy, and that one sold for twenty four. So I will list mine at twenty five, free media mail shipping. Forget it. I don't even remember where I left off with my total, but I've definitely already made my money back. So I'm, I've been in the profit after the, the third book. So that gives you kind of an idea. I'm at six books now. So I'm, I'm probably very close to doubling my money right now. Oh, next is the antique one. This is cool. So the spine's kind of damaged. There's no dust jacket, so I'm going to have to open it up to see what the title is. There is some minor pencil writing inside. Ex Libris. Oh, that's so pretty. I love seeing those stamps or stickers. Instead of Ex Library, it's Ex Libris. Homeward Bound or The Chase, A Tale of the Sea. In two volumes. This is volume one. Interesting. This is from 1838, so this is definitely an antique one. So let's check this one out. Woo, finally found her. So I had to do a quick Google search. Couldn't really find anything on eBay, and, and that happens sometimes. So what I found was on Biblio. Uh, I have volume one only. I don't have volume two. So if I had both volumes, Biblio has some listed for $200. I could probably do a little bit more research and find ones that have actually sold. So with that in mind, I'm going to do a little bit more research and decide if eBay is even the correct platform for me to list this one on and kind of go from there. So we'll see what I end up getting for this book. All right, so next is The Mouse and the Motorcycle, Beverly Cleary. I get a ton of Beverly Cleary books but they're the little bit more modern version, the children's chapter books, and they're paperback, so those usually only do well for me in lots. So I'm curious to see how this one comps out. A little bit of writing inside. Not a whole lot of foxing though. Pages are in good condition. This is a 1965 weekly reader book club edition, so that's important to take into consideration when you're looking up comps. Okay, and the very first comp I comp I found was for $19.99 plus $3.84, likely media mail shipping, and it's the Weekly Reader Book Club Edition. I would say mine, as far as condition, looks identical to this one because it is in really good shape overall. I would easily list this at $19.99, probably do free shipping, but we'll see. Maybe I'll put shipping on there. But definitely, this is a $20 price point for me, so I'm excited about that. At this point, I have doubled my money. Next is I Choose Freedom by Victor Kravchenko. Dust jacket is on here. It's worn, which is typical. Has some bumps and bruises, especially at the edges and at the spine, which is common from bookshelf wear. There's some writing inside. It's not signed by the author, but writing. This is the 1946 The Scribner Press, and we will look up comps. Mm -hmm. 
So the first comp that I see does not have a dust jacket and it sold for $19. So I'm going to, mine's a first edition. Hmm. I'll see if there's any listings out there that have a dust jacket. The sold listings so far don't have a dust jacket, but I'll see if anyone has one listed with a dust jacket and then probably meet in the middle between the sold and what someone has it listed for. Because dust jacket is about 95% of the value of a book and a very important piece for buyers. I might list this for $30. I might be shooting too high with that. I could always take a best offer of 20, but I might do that at 30, maybe even 40. I don't know, we'll see. This one's gonna go in the we'll see pile. Next is The Shotgun Book by Jack O'Connor. This one has a dust jacket as well, worn. A little bowing damage to the book. Deckled pages, so untrimmed. Not a whole lot of foxing though, which is surprising for the outside. This is the 1965 first edition. Let's look it up. Whew, good lord. So first uh, sold comp I see is something that was listed for $42 and they took a best offer. So that looks promising. The worst comp I see is an auction for $4 and then $4 shipping. Just kind of seems like that person didn't know what they were doing. I will probably put this at $20. I'll do a little bit more research, but I will probably put this at 20 bucks. Free media mail shipping. Get it sold. Keep it moving. I've already doubled my money, so everything at this point is profit. Next is John Sanford, Holy Ghost. This is a signed copy. You can see it's a signed copy there. So that, although this is probably pretty common fiction, the fact that it's signed adds some value to the book beyond its typical mass marketed. All right, cool. So it looks like signed copies are selling anywhere from 15 to 25. I'll probably do 15 for mine, just because there is somewhere to the dust jacket and things like that. 15 to 20 is probably what I'll list this one for, free media mail shipping and get it moving. All right, and then finally, we have War and Peace. Little foxing on the inside. This is from 1967. So I don't see any selling with the dust jacket. So that's pretty cool. Hmm. So for my copy, I will probably just take a stab and put this at like 15 or $20 free media mail shipping and see what I can get for it. I don't see any sold comps for specifically what I have with a dust jacket. So we'll see. I might actually do a little bit more research on this one. I might Google it and see on that one. So, so far I have three that I have to do a little bit more research on. One, I'm not 100% sold that I will do that. I will list it on eBay. I may list it on a different platform. And then I've got all the rest of these books. So I've doubled my money, well over doubled my money. And I helped another reseller out by putting $40 into his wallet. And he helped me out. And I'm rehoming books and keeping them out of landfills. So this was really cool. Thank you so much, FBA Dave. Make sure to check him out on Instagram. Follow his YouTube channel, although he doesn't have a whole lot of content out there. Let's make sure he has some followers so when he does start dropping videos and dropping his knowledge, he has followers that are ready to uh, watch. Okay, and then finally is the fun shout out that I'm giving to Sour Punch Shop. Okay, so Sour Punch Shop reached out to me via DM on IG and asked if I would be interested in showing some of their products either uh, on my YouTube channel or taking a selfie and posting that on Instagram. I'm going, I plan on doing both, but in my YouTube, I wanted to just kind of show the products that I purchased. So I, full disclosure, I did get two free products and then another product I got a 30% discount on. I am really impressed with the packaging. The packaging was really nice. 
I'm impressed with the shipping speed. I received it in like five days, I want to say, so that was awesome. The communication emails of my order and tracking and when it was shipped out, that communication was really awesome. So for being a newer business and a b newer product line and site, uh, the whole transaction process and customer service, in my opinion, in my experience, was really nice. So the first thing I grabbed was, you know, how I am with my reusable bags and how I need them for my book sales. So I got this tote here. It's pretty cool. Looks kind of like Van Gogh in a way. I like the artsy feel to it, the math, like the mathematics behind it. Just kind of an interesting design in general and kind of spooky and your girl likes spooky so and then next I purchased a necklace I'll open this up real quick necklace is like a gold kind of rose goldy in a way rose goldy if that's a word roses are my birth flower so they're my favorite flowers and I love them it's pretty basic, but I think it's really pretty. You could always layer it with like some shorter gold and silver choker necklaces with this one, since that's kind of like the style now is to kind of layer necklaces. So it's really pretty and it'll go good with the gold hoops. And finally, I purchased this adorable shirt. And if any, any of you know me, you know this shirt is perfect for me. Not that I need another black tee, but I I couldn't resist. I had to get it. Because you know your girl's an introvert, so. <laughs> Quality is really nice. It's um, on a Hanes tag, so I know it won't shrink too bad for me. And yeah, I mean, for being like a basic design, I'm pretty impressed. I can't wait to take a picture of it. Make sure to Keep an eye on my Instagram and when I drop that selfie if you want to like and then give Sour Punch Shop some love. Maybe follow them on Instagram and maybe make a purchase yourself. I don't have a coupon code or anything fancy like that. This was strictly just a shout out to my followers to let them know about their products and to give them a shout out on IG. So I just wanted to do a brief unboxing at the end of this video to support them. That's it guys, that's all I have. The unboxing, the money that I'm going to be making, the shout out to a new small business. It's pretty much it. So I hope you guys like this video. Drop me a comment. What, what book do you think was my best find? Do you like the products that I got from Sour Punch Shop? Um, do you think I'm being too conservative with some of these books? Or do you think I'm in the right price point? Did you look up some of these with me? I would encourage you to look up some of these while you're watching this video. If you didn't, maybe rewind and look them up with me and just kind of get used to looking up books if that's a new product category that you're looking into selling. So you can get kind of familiar with looking at sold comps and doing the analysis that kind of comes along with that. So anyways guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Music